Good morning, everybody. First video in the new house, I guess, really kind of technically. Check that out. My dad got me that for Christmas a couple years ago. It's going to go up in the office eventually, but I put it up in here for now. But anyway, let's get to this video. I'm going to get the car jacked up, get the freaking wheels off, and uh, throw them in the old lad's truck. And then uh, we're going to get new tires mounted on them. And I'm freaking excited. They're taller. They are wider. They are lighter. They should grip way better because these have got the life cycled out of them. Um, <coughs> next weekend, looking warm. Well, it'll be cool in the mornings and it's going to be dry. Today it's going to rain. Yesterday it rained. It's going to rain tomorrow and the next day. Cold front coming through, which would the cold front itself would be great. So we are going to go do some testing tonight. 60 to 130, um, and that's for a different video because we're going to do intake comparisons, so we'll be looking out for that. We got, um, I'll show you a picture here of the Blaze intake. We're going to mesh that together here with the DBV2. We're going to have to cut it. All right, you can see I already put, got the air dam in, but tonight we're going to go do some data logs and see if we can see any wastegate duty cycle and uh, uh, turbo shaft speed differences. But for now, I'm gonna get this bad boy jacked up. Like I said, get the wheels off. I'm gonna lube the suspension because it needs it. We're also gonna look at the dog bone mount. Uh, we're gonna get the car like I said, up on jacks, get the belly pan off, and then have the old lady get in the car and rev it up. And we're gonna watch the motor from the dog bone side. I think the bushing in the dog bone arm itself is going bad and it's causing some false knock. So I'm getting some some readings on shifts and they're hard. Like, you know what I mean? like every time I shift it, boom, knock goes pretty crazy. So the only thing that really isn't locked down on my whole drivetrain is uh, that dog bone mount is the OEM one. Uh, I never upgraded it because the Verkline subframe, the bushing that's in there is it's crazy good. Like nothing to worry about there at all. But I was like, well, now all the stress is on that bushing and the dog bone arm after doing zero three four engine mounts and the Verkline stuff and all this. So right now it's a little, the weak link and I'm hoping that that's factual. Anyway, your boy's on a rant. I just literally just roll out of bed. So Saturday morning, not even seven o'clock yet. And um, well, out here getting shit done. So. All right, she's all jacked up. Very nice. You can see here, they're still like some good tread depth left. Um, those are the back. Let's go look at the front. I rotate these pretty religiously. Um, there's still some good tread, but I like the life of the tire. Like they can only go through so many heat cycles and do so much before the compound itself is dead. And these are pretty much dead. Um, like for reference, when I first got these tires, I was able to cut a 1.67 on any old street, basically. And now I can, like, super duper struggle to get them under uh, 1.860 foot. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to keep these tires when we get them um, swapped over and weigh them. I'm about to go grab the scale and weigh the new tires, which I'll roll run out here and we can compare um, the, the tread pattern. They're honestly pretty freaking similar um you can only really do so many different tread patterns for a tuner tread wear rotational tire but um yeah should be interesting the last like three or so sets of tires were all rt660 so going to continental is going to be something very new for me but i'm very excited all right fellas here's the new tires we'll go compare tread pattern here in a moment but i want to see how much these weigh. Now it's gonna, not gonna be a great comparison because it's a brand new tire versus an old tire, but man, on mine they said it was 24 pounds. 27.9, let's try it again. Reset. Now it's saying 25.4. All 
All right, this is the fifth way, and it's still in 25-4. So we're going with 25-4. And eventually, this is gonna be the new office. But uh, we got some stuff to sell and get rid of. Get my big old intercooler in there. We got the Blaze Boy right there. Uh, got my old hood, the old valve cover intake. Got an engine cover somewhere, some broken axles to put on the wall. Anyway, let's load this stuff up. All right, lads, this is what we're looking at. The difference between the two. I said, really? Let's get that distraction out of the way. Get them closer. Not anything crazy. I mean, you got, got these treads, smaller treads, some lines. The lines are a little bit different. These are... You know, they go back and forth. This one's just kind of like tapered. It's like straight here, tapered towards the middle. <laughs> I do like these um, for wear. I have them on the inside and outside shoulders, so you can just stick your, your tire depth tool right in. Um, excuse my nose here. They are rotational. And there should be those little arrows. Oh, yeah, you get the little bar right there, if you can tell. Um, how much rollover you're getting. I do like, see this one has actual arrows. I do like how much, a little bit smoother it is here on the shoulder compared to that. We'll see how this really looks once it's on it up. You can see I got all types of uh, wire and nails and all types of stuff in these. And they, these things are freaking warrior. Like, all these rocks stuck in them. Anyway, there we go. All right, boys, we are mounted and we are balanced. These things look real nice on there. Look at that. Hell yeah. Got so many compliments on the wheels. Everyone kept asking me what car it's for. It's a brand new-ish discount tire here. Alamo Ranch, uh, San Antonio. These guys were awesome. They were great. Everyone's super cool. They were super fast. Got me in and out very quickly. Oh, I was going to leave and go to Home Depot, but uh, they were like, yeah, we're halfway done by the time I paid for them. So that's what's up. Just a little word from the wise here. So while you have your wheels off and such, um, my wheels are going to stay off. So I'm going to go in here and lube all my suspension and whatnot. But see how nice and clean this looks now? Well, I'll show you the other side. I mean, it's not the most clean, but it's about as much clean as I can get it with this thing. So I popped all the studs out, cleaned the threads off. Um, this guy right here is great. Impact rated uh, bits are just awesome. I'm gonna go over to this side, show you how nasty it is. Like this one's actually rusted on, it's so bad. Um, we can see how just, how gross the hub in general is. If I could pop this off with one hand, let me go grab something. I'll show you. There we go. We got the hub ring off. So look how nasty that is. You know, and you don't want you don't want all that shit in there with especially with new tires and stuff. That's what's gonna make your wheels be like you're gonna get vibrations, you're gonna get imbalances if your your hubs aren't clean. So pull your studs out if you got them. Clean up your hubs, order one of them things off Amazon. I don't know what they're called exactly. It was actually given to me by my buddy in Virginia. Thank you, sir. Um Definitely worth the investment. Get these bad boys cleaned up. Save you a headache down the road, potentially. All right, boys. Looks like we are gaining just a hair. I think they were 25.4, so 0.6 of a pound. But these are old, you know. They're worn down. The other ones will get there. Let's make sure here. Yeah, 24.8. Hello. Oh, All right, we got the old lad. And the young lad in the car are going to rev it up. And we are going to see how much this dog bone moves here. Let's go to 2x. And focus. Okay, go for it. Give it some beans. my spacers off and they 
flew across the garage. Uh, go again? Yeah. Go again? Seeing zero movement. Again? All right, lads. Um, I guess we'll fast forward to tonight when the wheels are on. Uh, I'm done for now. It's like, I don't know, 11 in the afternoon. I've been up since six something and I wanna hang out with my daughter a little bit more. So I'm kinda good here. I lubed some things, put the belly pan back on, clean all the hubs, all that mumbo jumbo. Still need to pull all the boots off all the suspension. I probably have I don't know, one, two, three, four, eight, uh, I don't know, like probably close to 30 different points I need to lube in the suspension tonight. And then we'll put the wheels on, put the car on the ground, and then I'll start the next video and we're gonna go out and do data logs with the setup now, and then swap intakes. I gotta take the whole inlet off, measure, cut, install, all this jazz. So this evening will be Interesting. I brought the saws all home sitting up there. So, yeah, we're getting two videos in one today. But uh, on the flip side, I will definitely let you guys know what I think about the tires. There's two autocross events next month, and then we're going to up. Uh, what's it? I forget what the some dragway near Dallas on the 26th of this month. It's a VW Audi. Um, private event it's $150 catered food um, there's still spots open so if you're in the Dallas area or want to travel to the Dallas area I want to spend 150 to go drag race some limited passes I said it's catered um, it's with that uh, Audi Houston Club so let me know if you guys want to go there's still slots open they're looking to fill it up to 60 people so um, yeah let me know I, I should be able to link that Facebook post down below but if i forget remind me i'll post it if you guys are interested um yeah but next month i'll let you guys know what i really think of these tires uh in the corners but uh here next weekend this is supposed to rain here shortly um we'll go test these out for straight line grip and hopefully get into that 10 second range just fired the car up and took the brake off and wow is that ever meaty that is a nice looking meat. I wish we could really go out and play, but as you can tell, it's nice and raining. Yeah, that's a nice fit. Looking good. Heck yeah. So, I said we got two autocross events next month, and then next weekend, weather's looking much, much better. We're gonna go out and try and get that 10 second pass, so. Um, fingers crossed that that happens. Definitely keep you guys updated on uh, what I think of these tires. Check on the Instagram, BR32YCE. I post, you know, things there and communicate with people a lot, even though I answer all the questions in the comments. So if you got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. But uh, yeah, these bad boys are on. They look sick. And uh, yeah, now it's time to start the next video. We're about to go do some data logs in this rain, unfortunately, and then come home and swap that intake and then do more logs, so. Well, good spot to end this video on the tires. Went out for a drive, got some data logs for the next video, and these babies feel so good. Like, with being thicker and hitting the bumps and in the road, and I lubed all the suspension last night, and just everything is quieter, it feels smoother, feels great. Um, now we just need coilover so we can raise it up. I am rubbing a little bit on the right side, like some bumps, which is typical and not a big deal, but um, yeah, these are dope. So far, first impressions are two thumbs up.